Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand how to split a data set. So let us go to the Azure Machine Learning Studio and do the same. So here I am on the Azure portal. Click on Machine Learning. This is the workspace that we have created. Open this. And now launch the Machine Learning Studio. After creating the workspace, I created the compute resource as well. This one, compute cluster, Azure ML hyphen CC01. Then I have created a data store. This one, Azure ML underscore DS01. And at the end, I have created a data set. This one, Netflix fees. Now go to designer, open a new pipeline. So this is the data set, drag it to the canvas, outputs, let us preview the data. There are total 8 columns and 50 rows in this data set. This data set contains the Netflix prices. These are the country codes, these are the countries, then total library size, number of TV shows, number of movies, cost per month. So these are the cost per month, these three columns. Now click on profile. This is the cost per month basic, standard and premium. So this is all about the data set. To split the data set, we have to use a module. Search here, split data. So this is the module that we are going to use to split the data. Now drag it to the canvas. Specify the input. Let us understand this module. To split the data, we have to specify the splitting mode. So these are the three splitting modes that we can specify. Split rows, regular expression and relative expression. After that, we have to specify the fraction of rows in the first output data set. By default, it is 0.5. That means 50% data in the first output and 50% data in the second output. Then we have to specify the randomized split, random seed and stratified split. Let us understand splitting modes first. Click on component information. Learn more. I'll open this in another tab. Scroll down. So we can find this module under data transformation. You can see here data transformation, scroll down. So this is the module split data. Let us understand about the splitting modes. So these are the three modes split rows regular expression split and relative expression split. You can see same here split rows, regular expression and relative expression. Let us understand split rows first. Use this option if you just want to divide the data into two parts. You can specify the percentage of data to put in each split. By default data is divided 50-50. So 50% in the first data set and same for the second data set. You can also randomize the selection of rows in each group as well as you can use stratified sampling. In stratified sampling, you must select a single column of data for which you want values to be appointed equally among the two result data sets. So this is the first mode. Let us understand the second one, regular expression split. Choose this option when you want to divide your data set by testing a single column for a value. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Suppose you are analyzing sentiment. Then you can check for the percentage of particular product name in the text field. You can then divide the data set into rows with the target product name and rows without the target product name. So here we have to specify a regular expression and on the basis of that, the data will be splitted. Let us understand the third mode, relative expression split. 
use this option whenever you want to apply a condition to a number column. The number can be a date or time field, a column that contains age or dollar amounts or even a percentage. Let us understand this also with the help of an example. You might want to divide your data set based on the cost of items, group people by age ranges or separate data by a calendar date. So in relative expression split, we can apply a condition to a number column. So these are the three splitting modes. Now go to Azure Machine Learning Designer. Most of the times we are using this mode, split rows. Here we will split the data using this mode, split rows. After that we have to specify the fraction of rows in the first output data set. I'll specify 0.7. That means 70% data in the first data set and 30% data in the second data set. Then the randomized split. It indicates whether rows should be randomly selected or not. We will select rows randomly. I'll specify true. After that we have to specify the random seed. Here we have to provide a value to see random number of generator seed. I'll specify 0 which is default. And at the end we can specify stratified split. It indicates whether the rows in each split should be grouped using a strata column. Here we have two options true or false. I'll go with the default one which is false. We have to use the stratified split in case of classification machine learning problem. But this is the regression data set you can see. Here we have to predict the cost per month. So we are not selecting the stratified split here. As well as you can specify the output settings. Here you can select the data store. I'll go with the default one. As well as you can select the run settings. Here you have to specify the compute target. I'll go with the default one. You can use other compute target if you have. Now go to settings. Select compute type. I created the compute cluster. Select this compute cluster that we have created earlier. Now click on submit. I'll specify the pipeline name as well. Replace this one. Data processing. Split. Then click on submit. I'll create new experiment. data processing split I'll specify the job description as well splitting the data set and this is the compute target which is default now click on submit submitting now this pipeline is running if you run overview under the attributes, you can see the status. Status is running. It will take few minutes to run the pipeline. So I'll fast forward the process. So this pipeline run is completed successfully. Click on this module, split data. Let us check the outputs. So there are two data sets, results data set 1 and results data set 2. Click on the first one. As you can see here, 46 rows and 8 columns. That means 70% data in the first data set. You can see the column names as well. Now close this. Open the second data set. 19 rows and 8 columns. So 30% data in the second data set. That means we have successfully splitted the data. To split a data set we have to use this module split data and we have to specify these parameters splitting mode, fraction of rows in the first output data set, randomized split, random seed and stratified split. So this tutorial about splitting the data set ends here. I'll see you in the next one. Till then happy learning.